everyone. Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing really well. So anyway, I wanted to check in and see if Hope Hicks's testimony in the Hush Money case would have any effect on Trump or on the case itself, uh, but how it would affect him basically. <laughs> so anyway, let me swap out cameras here, bring you over my table. Hold on. Okay, so I decided to use Jero Marchetti's Kipper. And I'm, I, you know, I should, what I should check first is to see if she will Hope Hicks uh, actually testify in the Hush Money trial. Will that happen? And if so, how will it go? Will she, will she have testimony that uh, makes a difference to Trump's trial? How will it affect him? So I'm going to break my rules about the main male and main woman. So of course she'll be the main woman. If the main male comes through, it won't be her husband, it'll be Trump. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, because apparently she, she had a conversation with David Pecker, and all this happened, you know, like 2016, while she was his, uh, while she was Trump's uh, campaign um, press secretary, I guess was her title. So anyway, Hope Hicks, Hope Hicks. Will you testify, and if so, how will it affect Trump's, Trump in his trial? Ooh, well, that looks like giving something, and especially this would be the hush money payment. But let, let me just get the cards laid out. Otherwise, I'm just speculating. Each card definitely means something separate, but if you don't read them all together, yeah, there she is. <laughs> Ooh, give, give, give. So, uh, yes, I, I would say, so far it looks like she'll testify, but let, let's bring it out. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Okay, so even though his card hasn't come through yet, it's not looking good. Hmm. <laughs> this could be... Juan Mershon's power over Trump there. Wow. Okay, you guys. And if I were if I had room to keep going, we've got the grifting and the painful loss. <gasps> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Hope Hicks is here. So I'm starting here because she did appear. So Hope Hicks gave not only information, but some something that would, uh, uh, you know, support the um, testimony or support the um, court case. Because I think on one level, this is this is her, and she was maybe a little worried about what was going on. But then again, I think she tried to. Oh, okay. On a, on a, there, there's so many levels here. This, this would be Trump coercing her because he was obsessing about it. And, and this is her being afraid of losing her job or not having a job with him. And this shows how she worked for him and she was afraid of losing her job. Right? Restricted, losing her job, all of that. Uh, this could be a friend of hers uh, who, she was really in close partnership, a close bond, a friend with a close bond that maybe helped her with her reputation. But anyway, most importantly, these cards in the center here do show that she has given something in the past and she will continue to give. She'll give whatever she has to give because she doesn't want to wind up uh, you know, perjuring herself or in jail, right? We've got, this would be our perjury card 
and going to jail for something like that. Because remember, Michael Cohen knows everything that she's done. Oh, well, not everything, but I mean, she, he, Michael Cohen knows. So she has to tell the truth is what I'm getting here. This could also be Michael Cohen over here, right? Because, oh, definitely, because Michael Cohen did go to jail, good, did go to prison for a while. Uh, this has cost Michael Cohen dearly in his reputation. And there we are there. Okay, so I do believe she will testify. And it looks like it's going to be all about discovery as to her reputation and what she did. Uh, and what she knows. I can't think that she would actually be jailed for anything that she's done uh, because she was just working for Trump and doing whatever he said. But then again, this does go out of the uh, norms, doesn't it? I mean, she could have blown the whistle on Trump and she didn't, so there is that. I... Um, she was, I would say, feeling very helpless about this whole thing. But she's she's kind of, you know, midway in control over what has happened. These cards up here are weighing down on her. Uh, but really, it just it is her partnership and her work for Trump. So there's that. Uh, in this testimony, she is looking at uh, being true to her principles and speaking up even though it's going to be very bothering for her. And I, I can't say this is Trump. This really is Michael Cohen. She's looking at the fact that Michael Cohen will be able to cause her great stress and worry if she doesn't tell the truth. Uh, what's coming up behind her back is... Um, hmm, this is interesting. Like... I, I, I don't know if this is a female, well, it's someone in her life, I think, that knows her secrets and knows her financial secrets and the risks that she would take just to make some money. And it could be a person, so we have the, the younger woman and an older woman. This could be her mother, this could be a sister, and we may never know, but these, you know, this one trusts is a trustworthy person that is supportive and holds secrets. And this one is more creative and young and, you know, thinking uh, in new ways to keep bringing money in and can be very influential because we do have the reputation card here right next to her. This could also, because we have the marriage card, if Hope Hicks is married, if Hope Hicks is married, this could be her um, sister-in-law could be a friend, sister-in-law, or sister. So, but anyway, uh, the discovery will come out. Uh, you know, in, during the trial, this, this is our trial, the discovery will come out. And I don't know that her reputation will be trashed that bad. We don't, I don't have painful cards around her. But it has been in the past. This has definitely gotten her down. I... Um, these cards are telling me that the, the truth always comes out. It'll be, you know, this village of people testimony uh, with their testimony. This is also with these two cards connecting. And this might be one very important woman on the jury, but this is our jury card here. Okay. The jury will discover uh, that that Trump, for her testimony will reveal that... And, and the jury will get that message clearly that Trump was coming from a place of feeling like he didn't have enough of whatever he needed to become president. And he doesn't mind bribing people. We've got, you know, bribery here. Uh, and of course, the, that's what this thing is all about, you know. Let's pay Stormy $130,000, Michael Cohen, mortgage your house, uh, you know, I'll give you extra money for doing that. We'll give it to Stormy, or what, what her real name is, um, what's her name? Stephanie Clifford. And then, of course, there's the other gal, too. Um, 
Oh my goodness, I can't remember her name. There's the other one. You guys are probably going, I know, I know. <laughs> Put it in the comment because my brain's not thinking that way right now for some reason. I'm not catching it. I, but anyway, th this is all about uh, Michael Cohen knowing the truth and standing by the truth and putting it out there, putting all that light out there. You know, this is, this is like being in the sunlight. We don't have a, a sun card in this deck, but this is just like being in the sunshine. This is Michael Cohen. He's got that clear. He's gone through hell and back. He's been in prison because of all this crap for Trump, and he doesn't want to go there again. He's looking at all of this like, no. And until the truth comes out, he can't really think of a whole lot more. He really, really wants, you know, that, that that's his uh, mea culpa, you know, um, is it a YouTube channel or whatever. I don't listen to him myself because I he's kind of, his voice is irritating to me. But, uh, but you know, I, <laughs> if it weren't for guys like him that came out and told the truth, if it weren't for whistleblowers, where would we be, right? Anybody that comes out and tells the truth, no matter what they've done, I'm always happy to see. Um, so anyway, uh, this is Michael Cohen on his soul journey. He's having to, he's been having to wait a long, long time and give and give and give till he just doesn't have any more to give. But he'll keep doing that until this whole thing comes full circle. But as far as the testimony, we've got it here. It has to do with her reputation. There are so many big yes cards here as far as her testifying and where it will um, put Trump. Now, that, let's look at that layer. Well, the future's over here. Here's all the past. In the center is what's going on now. This is Trump in the future, okay? I can't think of anything else. Major psychological disorders, definitely worried about being locked up. He's losing money like crazy just having to defend himself with all these lawsuits, and that's what this is all about. And nobody sees him, well, I, I can't say that. Anybody with a functioning brain sees him as a, a grifter, a liar, a con artist who just covers everything up to get what he wants, and he's definitely poor of spirit. So, yeah. So let me do, let's, um, let me reshuffle and I just ask it from another, because, uh, you know, this one was a lot about Hope Hicks and it's been quite some time since I've read on this trial, this particular trial, but it'll go in my playlist that's called Trump Trials and let's see. Let's just do a double little extra check-in here and see how is Sleezus, how is Sleezus going to do in the Alvin Bragg trial? And thank you, the real Virgo Queen, for that name, Sleezus. <laughs> oh, okay. Donald John Trump. How will you do in the Alvin Bragg, Juan Marchand, hush money payment, criminal election interference case? And that jury selection is right around the corner. Right there. Okay, well, he's he will have some, it looks like maybe some loyalty, oh, loyalty to the drugs he needs to numb himself out from what's going on. Okay, how will it affect him? Ooh, the documents. The documents are the loyal, and this could be testimony as well. How will it affect him? Yeah. Rules and regulations as to election interference. Whoa. My goodness. So this would be the entire trial. There's his reputation. So there's the core of the reading. There's where we have his karma. And those wheels are turning. Again, the jury. On top of him, he's looking at poverty. Can I just get some loyal 
No, rut row. He's going to work it as much as he can. He's going to file every motion and complaint that he possibly can to create some change for himself. Yeah, no, he he's having a really, really hard time. Now, for this one, I think this would be Judge Juan Mershon for this spread. New health conditions. Oh, his brain. Going back to his childhood. Yeah, coming up behind him, Judge Juan Mershon's work. Ooh, painful loss. And to his marriage as well. Whoa. Okay, so, will he win or lose? He's going to lose. And meanwhile, the health issues are are getting worse and worse and worse, and he can't get out from under them, and that's his karma. He's using drugs and possibly alcohol in order to escape, and if you think he doesn't drink, you do not know what addiction is all about, and we do know he has an addictive personality disorder. Most psychopaths do. So do not comment that he doesn't drink, because you will not convince me. You'll just convince me of someone who doesn't know what, uh, what addictions are about. Okay, having said that, forgive me. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I'm tired of people commenting, he doesn't drink. Yeah, I bet he does when he can't get his hands on the pills fast enough, or the pills aren't working quick enough, or maybe he does both. So, how it's going to affect him, he's going to want to escape even more, get out of the house even more, because Melania isn't be, she ain't be having it anymore. This could be divorce proceedings over here. Uh, he's looking at um, so the important discovery documents, and uh, which will cost him dearly, not only with loyalty uh, from people that he thought he could trust who will be flipping on him, like Hope Hicks and, uh, yeah, you know, Michael Cohen has definitely done his job. And then he's looking at another just down patch. This is going to level him in a whole new way because there are some uh, documents or um, conversations that were recorded and he he doesn't, I don't think he expects that. Wow. Okay. He's going to have to work at something else in order to try and convince the judge, but it's not going to happen because we have a painful loss over here. Yeah. The jury hanging over his head seeing what he has done, seeing the risks he took just to get himself in the White House. Yeah. The jury will wind up being loyal to, want to Judge Juan Mershon, who will paint a, a, big, a good picture of it. Now, this could also be Alvin Bragg, actually. Well, it's, it could be both. I can't really say which one because um, then again, if I go with this line here, Juan Mershon has the highest, um, you know, level in the in the trial there. He's at the high, you know, the judge is higher than the prosec prosecutor. But the prosecutor, I'm still going to read on both levels, uh, Alvin Bragg is just working really hard to get Trump in the, you know, he's going to get him. He's going to get him. I can't think of anything else to say about this, so I'm just going to go ahead and get it uploaded and wish you guys a very happy Sunday. <laughs> okay, bye.